Some liberals are already trying to politicize the string of apparent mail bombs sent to current and former Democrat politicians all around the country, blaming President Trump over the matter. One America's Christian Rose has more. Reports of explosive devices sent to prominent opponents of President Trump are predictably stirring partisan deliberations. Several Democrat Party officials and leftist media outlets were quick to blame President Trump, claiming his statements might have encouraged these attempts. Don't encourage hatred. Don't encourage attacks on media. So, unfortunately, this atmosphere of hatred is contributing uh, to the choices people are making to turn to violence. There's no question about it. Earlier on Wednesday, the Clintons and Barack Obama, along with CNN and liberal billionaire megadonor George Soros, were reportedly targeted. Local police departments and national security agencies launched investigations, but many Democrats have rushed to politicize the reports, despite very few facts being available so far. For his part, President Trump and his administration strongly condemned the activity. The full weight of our government is being deployed to conduct this investigation and bring those responsible for these despicable acts to justice. But while the probes are underway, speculation rides high. Shortly after first reports emerged, George Soros' son, Alexander Soros, penned an op-ed for the New York Times. Soros said the reported incidents were encouraged by what he called political demonization, or in other words, President Trump's criticism of Democrats. And many Democrats appear to agree with Soros, as his op-ed paints them as victims of political terror. I worry about the direction of our country. We have to do everything we can to bring our country together. We also have to elect candidates who will try to do the same. As for the devices themselves, so far the Gateway Pundit claimed some of them lacked detonators, which could beg the question of how they were supposed to actually explode. Additionally, a reporter for the Daily Beast claims at least one of the six suspected devices bore an image resembling an ISIS flag, although the terror group itself has yet to comment on the matter. However, a subsequent report from NBC News refuted the claims, saying the ISIS flag on the device could be a parody. Meantime, the alleged bomb for Soros was reported to have been hand-delivered to his mailbox, despite tight security at his compound. FBI special agent bomb technicians will work with our people on how to get it to the next stop, which should be the FBI lab, so all of this evidence can be examined together. All this has stirred speculation of a possible hoax, political ploy or an amateur stunt to cause panic just ahead of the elections. Whatever it was, residents of New York, for example, are skeptical of mainstream media narratives. This happens every few months now, um, so yeah, I just want to get my lunch. Go on with my day. For their part, Trump administration officials urged calm until federal probes into the matter produce more details and reveal possible perpetrators. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.